I'm out in my trailer and this is going to be the next project. I have this DVD player and I want it to go in the bedroom here. There's a television. The problem is, is space is really limited in a trailer and I, I need some place to set that DVD player and I'd like to have it near the television but uh, over there you walk by the bed. This This is actually a door so this whole thing slides. So my idea is is to make a shelf that hangs from the ceiling up here and I'll have to construct it in such a way that this sits up here like this and it has to be sturdy enough. I don't know how sturdy these ceilings are. It's fairly sturdy but it's uh, it's double walled thick and it's uh, I don't know how thick this material is. I'll have to see. So I want more than just four screws at the corners of this shelf holding it up. So I'm going to devise something to hold this DVD player up there. And um, I've got an idea, so let's go get started. Okay, I'm set up out here with my router table. Uh, I made this many years ago because I couldn't afford a router table, but I had access to materials, so I just made one. And I've had it ever since. It's a little bit small but it works okay. I've got a chamfer bit mounted in the router and I have just a piece of a wood and I've already tested running it through here. It's got a ball bearing wheel at the top and uh, I've chamfered it. It's just going to be a small chamfer and I'm going to do it on the shelf. So this is going to be my shelf and I'm going to chamfer top and bottom on three edges that will be the exposed edges. The back side will be against the wall. Let's go ahead and run that. Uh, this is pretty noisy, so I've got hearing protection and I've got uh, eye protection here as well. Chamfered. Let's see if you can see this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's chamfered on the edge here. And I did a couple passes on some of the edges just to make sure that it was even. Sometimes you'll slip a little bit and it'll be a little bump. You just go ahead and run it through again and it'll clean it up. So it's chamfered on three edges on top and bottom. Just to give you an idea how this is going to be set up. The board is going to be inset from the edge like this and this part is going to be up to the ceiling and it's going to hang from the ceiling and it and there's going to be another piece of wood will be this width it'll be in front like this and I want the piece that's in front to be chamfered on all four edges as well. So I'm just going to chamfer back here a ways on this so I can cut it to the right length. The next thing I'm going to do is take this in on the radial arm saw and cut the, the side pieces to the right length that will hang down from the ceiling and cut uh, the end pieces. And this is uh, three and a half inches so these end pieces will be three and a half inches each that uh, sit in front of us. Let's move into the uh, radial arm saw.
as you might be able to see it's late afternoon here and the sun shining and you're pretty good and it's hot and I want to get this done so first thing I'm going to do is just square up this edge and this is noisy as well so I've got my uh, eye protection on put my ear hearing protection on Took a nice slow and even cut there to make sure that the edge was as smooth as possible. So it's going to be three and a half inches long. and I cut the second one as well so it's the right height there and I'm gonna go ahead and cut these to length I have two different lengths on this and you'll see why in a minute first one is uh, eight and a quarter inches in fact I'm gonna square up the edge on this first too Double checking my measurement here. Okay, this is what it's going to look like when it's assembled. Of course, it'll be stained. And remember, I cut one of the side pieces at eight and a quarter and one at ten and a quarter. So the width on the left side is going to be ten and a quarter. It's going to go all the way back to the back of the shelf. But on this side, it's going to end short. And that way, at this point, the wires can come through up the ceiling over to the television. So the uh, power cord and the uh, video cord. I think I'm going to use an HDMI cable. But any cables could come out here and there would be plenty of room to get cords in and out of there. So the next step is to, um, I'm going to cut some rails that are going to go in a piece of aluminum. So I'm going to put the aluminum channel, or excuse me, I'm going to cut the aluminum channel next that is going to go up on the ceiling. Okay, I'm back out here in the blazing heat. I put my hearing protection on. First length there will be uh, eight inches.
Okay, those are cut. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and lightly sand all the pieces because once it's together, it's going to be difficult to sand it. So I'm going to sand all the pieces individually. I'll go ahead and finish this up off camera.